On Wednesday, July 21st, 2010, the FAU Board of Trustees met in a special session conference call to vote on the final financing plan of the 30,000 seat football stadium. While the plan has been in the works since the inception of the football team in 2001, the $64.5 million stadium has been on the back burner until recently. With the Board of Trustees' approval, this plan will be sent to the Florida Board of Governors for a final vote. But don't forget, former FEU President Frank Brogan serves as the chairman of the Board of Governors, so with their approval, we could see groundbreaking as early as October. Before we go to vote, I, I would just like to comment that um, this has been a long, a long time <laughs> in the making. Um, it wasn't easy with everything that's been going on. Uh, change in presidents, change in financial uh, people, uh, a lot of changes around here. I'm very, very comfortable with the plan. And I think, speaking for myself, I think I've probably come the furthest in terms of a turnaround, in my opinion, of the entire project from uh, 2005 to today. And I think um, that's because there's been such incredible hard work that's gone on to make this really a doable plan. It's a, it will be a game changer for FAU. So, unless anybody else has any other comments, um, I'd like to call the, the vote. All those in favor, say aye. 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 Opposed? Aye. Uh, motion carries unanimously. Thank you very much. Thank you. Upon approval from the Board of Governors, who State Chancellor Frank Brogan is chair of, um, we will have a football stadium here at Florida Atlantic University in Boca Raton come the fall of next year. So um, it's a great day here at FAM.